Okay, so I'm going to show you how to pull from a dog. Normally I have a bitch up here as a, a teaser dog, but I'm not going to use it for this. Anyway, this is what you need to have, just to head this up. I have a little world pack that goes with my shipping product, and I always label what the dog is. This is very important, especially if you're pulling from multiple dogs, you don't want to get mixed up. So I need, this is a sterilized product, it's sterilized and it's good to go until I rip the top off it, which I'm going to do right there, open it up, I'll open the sides of it up and I pop it into, into here. And I do that, if I spill anything it goes in a cup. I like to use this as a collection cup, but I'm not going to do that today because I want you to see what's going on. So I'm going to use this to collect it, so you can see the semen coming out of the dog. I don't like this because it's slightly cool. I like this much better, because especially in the winter time, this doesn't get cold. So you don't want to cold shock your semen. Summertime it's not an issue, but I mean this thing here, I mean it, it'll warm up pretty quick, but I don't really like using this. So the next thing is I need to have my extender pre-warmed and ready to go. And what I've got here is, this is a great product, uh, Chill Guard. Um, really recommend this stuff. It'll keep seeing the light for five days. And I put this inside some warm water so it's warmed up. So now we're ready to do the collection. So I'm going to take this. So what I'm going to do here is I want to make sure that I've cleaned off any dirt and debris off the tip of his penis, off the sheet. So I'm just kind of taking that. It's clean. You can see right behind his testicles there's a small knot right there. Right, that's what I'm going to grab. Basically, I'm just putting pressure on that. I'm squeezing it about that hard. Pretty tight squeeze. And between, the, between where that knot forms and his testicles. So what will normally happen is normally he'll start humping around. And here he goes. Can you see that forming there? Now, how much are we going to collect? The answer is we're going to collect about one or two cc's. There's no point collecting a whole bunch of semen. This dog was actually collected from yesterday for a customer who's going to collect it again today. So he's not going to give me a really big collection. So one thing you've got to watch out for is that the dog doesn't want, the dog wants to kick his leg over and you want to make sure he doesn't put his foot into the cup. I have never had it happen to me, but I'm always aware of it and there'll be a day when it does happen. So I've got hold of him. Tammy, look at the back end of him so you can see the testicles. So you can see here, I've got a pretty good grip on I've got pretty good control of this dog. He can try and walk away on me, but I'm just going to hang on to him with this. And now we're going to get a tease dog here to help out the situation. And now you can see he's starting to produce more. Here he goes. Normal situation is that this dog will be thrusting around for about 15 seconds, then calm down and then start producing. You can see on the side of the cup, it's kind of got a milky color to it. So that's the, what's called a sperm rich fraction. You can specifically see there's a kind of a drop there. You can see that drop going down. It's got a kind of a milky, got a nice milky look to it. That's gonna go clear here in a bit. And when that goes clear, I'm gonna let him go a few more drops of clear, and then I'm gonna stop collecting. Because I don't, I'm not trying to collect, it's not the volume that counts. What counts here is collecting the sperm rich fraction. And the reason why you don't wanna collect prostate fluid after that is because that's detrimental to actually shipping. You want to replace that with the extender. And so you don't want lots of volume here. What you want is you want nice, you know, cloudy looking um, semen and maybe one or two cc's of semen. So he's slowed up on me significantly. I'm gonna guess he's gonna start going clear on me. And we'll, uh, if you can watch, get that right there with the tip, Tammy, if you can, right, with, right where it hits the glass and we'll see when it goes clear on us. And hasn't gone there yet. He's, now he's starting to spray a little bit of stuff that's not much of anything. There it is. Okay, and that was clear, that was clear. So let's let him do that one more time to kind of clear the old pipes out. I still got firm pressure on him and there's a little drop. There it is, right there, totally clear. Okay, so we're done. So now we're just gonna get him out of the cup. May if you take him. That's what we collected, not a lot of one. Okay, so now what we do is, is we take this and we immediately decant this into this bag. Okay, so I carefully pour this into here. Don't get in a hurry on it, don't want it to spill over. If there's any sediment in there, you want to do it slowly because you'll leave the sediment behind. Okay, so now the semen is in the war pack. 
Now we're gonna add, there's about a cc and a half there. We're gonna do a two to one ratio of this. So here's my warmed up extender. I normally just pour it in because I know how much it is. So there's, there's one and a half cc's. I'm gonna put that in here. And I'm gonna do another one and a half cc's. And that goes in there too. So now, pull this around so I can get any last remnants of semen. And there we go. That's what we can ship. Get last of the out. So now what we do is we just place this down. And I now I don't have my shipmate product here, but now I just pop them to shipmate and ship it off. So that's it, end of video.